Anything else? Netherum, the Alchemist, and this plague are all connected. Everywhere the Alchemist goes, Ordrak's heart taints the nature of magic itself. It creates a kind of infection, not too dissimilar from Ember Blight. These tiny infections grow, and eventually develop into a conduit for Netherum. The victim becomes a host to the Netherum, a Nether Thrall. This is what happened to the Asterians. And for some reason, the effect was stronger with the Grand Regent. Perhaps he was exposed more directly when he battled the Alchemist. In any case, the thing that possessed the Regent, the thing that attempted to possess me, is more powerful than the others. It is a Nether Beast, one of the Netherim Kings who led the invasion of our world an age ago. I'm sure it will return, seeking vengeance. Well then. Death to the Nether Beast. There we go. I don't know if the Alchemist understands that Ordrak's heart is wreaking such havoc. I'm commandeering a transport to take you to Zarefesh in the Ossian Wastes. Just speak to the Railmaster when you're ready to go. You have received a quest. Well, that was actually accidental. I, I didn't mean for it to go and quit that quickly. Let's see. Enchanter Molo. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how this works yet. Okay, let me go get this set up. 5% fire damage. That's what I want. Let's get rid of this rare ring. this and let's see. Regent Eldrain Sash. That was pretty good to me. It's all this execute stuff. Two icy mantles, huh? And Berserker needs to be user. One recovery per second. And I'm totally going to be using this guy. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, my pet sell it. Actually, I think I want this. I'm going to put this on slot 2. I'm not going to use it anytime soon, but that's okay. Oh, come on, my pet. I don't wish it well done, friend. Tell me I can't set my pet. I am at your service. Sell my pet inventory. Let's buy 121. Yeah. That's enough. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Let's talk to this guy. Got my gems back. And let's see what happens if I do one of these. I, I don't know if I want to try that. Alright, let's see. I don't really care if anything happens to this. Fortune favors you. New enchantments. So it actually makes it better. Fortune smiles upon you. Plus two attack speed. Oh no! Oh okay. <laughs> All right, so that's what happened. I ended up using the wrong one. That's okay. I don't think that I want to mess with it anymore. So let's see, I still have a quest I need to do over here. Let me run on over real quick, take care of the rest of those quests, and then I think that I'm going to call it a night and try out some of my new encoding methods and see whether or not that looks a lot nicer. 
no. Sorry. I was actually reading the active quest rather than looking at where I was going. Come on, guys. Let me look at my guy. Not too bad. Level 19. So if the max level is level 100, I'm guessing most people beat the game around level 70 or so? Maybe even 80? I mean, a lot of craziness in store for me. But now that I've uh, gotten some equipment upgrades, another level, beat the boss, hopefully all these outside areas will be a lot quicker and easier. So this is the first time this game I've actually seen Ogman get you to, I guess, make the more badass weapons. Kind of level up as you use them. Yeah, nice. So I'm, once I'm done with this, I'm going to look up the enchantment ideas and actually check it on out. If that's the case, I might be using this weapon that I currently have for a long time. Just because I can continually enchant it, make it better, make it more badass. As well as the fact that if I can augment something and enchant it at the same time, that might be pretty, pretty good, pretty lethal combination. something. Uh oh. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to read all the different I just won't get my ass kicked. Bandit key. Nice. The only problem that I'm actually running into with doing this hardcore, much nicer encoding quality is that everything takes about four times as long. Coding intake takes four times as long, uploading intake takes about four times as long, and file size is about four times as large. So, I might just have to go and actually have a different encoding setting for all the different games that I'm playing, depending on whether or not it's actually beneficial. Although, I mean, I'm only actually uploading this once. Good adventure. You have completed a quest. Shrine of Healing. Yeah, so I mean, at one time, I Not actually go and upload it and actually take a long Not time to upload it. Then I guess I'll just have to deal with it. I mean, once again, I only actually record these. I load them on in the mirror, I check them on out, I encode them, I cut them on up based off of my playing style and the amount of time. Pretty much break all this stuff into like 15, 20 minute segments. I used to get a lot of crap from people when I used to go and upload like an hour long video. So yeah, now I break it apart into a couple. 30, 40 minute segments. Actually, what am I saying? 15 minute. There we go.
<laughs> it looks like this thing's just pooping out money and items. Alright, let me check my weapon. Champion creatures upgrade. Hmm, that wasn't a champion? I thought that was a champion. Maybe I actually have to attack with my weapon? And kill him? Like I have to do the killing blow with it? I don't know, that sounds weird. Or maybe they, there's different types of enemies, I don't know. I always thought that that was a champion creature. this again. Alright, pet. Take that. Gosh, I didn't even look at these. Plus 5% to fire damage. Plus 2 to all damage, fire damage. Fire damage is by far my best. So, let me, let me look real quick. I want that one. Yeah. Don't care about mana. Don't care about that. Once again, I can just get rid of all these guys. Yeah, it's a pole arm. I can use that. Nope. Nope. Vitality and melee? Nope. Uh, 2% plus 2 cast speed. I'd rather have regen. Rare helmet, electric armor? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Vitality and focus? Nope. All right. And my pet's going to deliver. Your pet has departed. Go back to town. Give me some rad monies. Damn those things are walking on. I was well timed. I believe I've located the Alchemist's lair here in the Ice Deep Caverns. I found a journal just inside the entrance. It speaks of entering the mine of Torchlight and retrieved Ordrak's heart. I intended to look for more further inside the caverns, but the creatures dwelling here now are too much for me. Finding the rest of the Alchemist's journals would probably be very helpful in ascertaining how to stop them. The one I saw was Volume 4, so there are probably three more in the Ice Deep Caverns. You have received. Well, look at that. Another cavern to go into. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to go and do a brand new cavern right now. So with that being said... Do that. And I'm going to go in there. Let me take all my items. Put them in. And I think that with that, I am going to say thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, hope to bring you more. Let me know whether or not there's additional things that I can bring you guys or additional games.